How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of Southern Hopeful Goodness Jams from Heist Brewing, nonetheless. It's our Ancient Feelings. Yeah, this is a uh, West Coast hopped, West Coast style, Mosaic and Azaka hopped IPA. So there you go. 6.5%. This is canned, mm, was this canned that long ago? July, 2020, okay. Could be. See how it's kind of rubbed off? It's probably not. It's probably something, something, seven, then 20, I'm assuming. Um, we'll see what's what. This comes courtesy of my boy, Oak Ridge. I'm assuming this is going to be clear beer and delicious because that's how we roll. <laughs> We're on the same tune there, and it looks the part. Yeah, West Coast style IPA. The other one I had was uh, a West Coast vibing, too, even though it didn't say it on the can. But you're throwing those mosaic and azaka hops. We'll see what actually happens with the beer. That's clear beer. I know it's in the grand scheme of things a little bit hazy, but that's what's considered clear beer nowadays. 6.5% label wise, words and hops. I forget the name of that font. I've seen that font before on Duff font or something like that. Um, yeah, that kind of washed out amber, kind of uh, hazy West Coastiness that we're all, all too familiar with. Pinky finger, white as white could be, super tight, compact bubble head. It looks the part. It looks part of this old school West Coast hazy, sands a little bit of unfilteredness. Get a nose. I'm not getting a big pop of West Coast on this. I actually get this little zippy. What is that? It's not a West Coasty thing. It's not like a, um, a resinous, piney kind of thing. It's not a big citrus component. If anything, reaching from a distance, it's like a slight bit of a mintiness with a slight bit of lemoniness. And that's it, really. There's really not much else, actually, on the nose. Very neutral. Not much there. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah. This is danger beer. Again, like the other one. This has some time on it. I know it does. As those hops aren't nearly as vibrant as they should be. But it's still tasty. This is the testament to the old school. This is a testament to the West Coast IPA because really, you know, West Coast IPAs, when they fall off, they almost fall off in like a kind of kind of slow and steady kind of fashion. And a lot of West Coast IPAs, especially the Kings of uh, the Kings of Kings, the King Shut of Fuck Mountain versions of West Coast IPA, they don't get worse. They just get more less vibrant. You know, so they have this stability and shelf life to them. And that's why they were originally brewed the way they were. They were kind of, you know, a beer that can stand the test of that time. They did fall off, obviously, but when they fall off, they didn't fall off into some muddy, oxidative, crazy, hop creepy, diacetyl butter machine. Um, and this is kind of where they would go. I'm assuming this beer is infinitely more aggressive. I don't think it was a crazy two by four to the face of hops, but I think it had a bigger roll to it. I think it had a bigger kind of hop presence to it. A little bit more aggressive kind of pininess, maybe a little bit more resinous, that little bit of lemon minty thing kind of coming out. You all still get that here, but a much smaller kind of, um, kind of vibe. The sweetness is still there. The the heftiness of the malt side is still there. It's not overly sweet, but especially with those hops falling off, it comes a little bit sweeter than what you'd expect. And there's this real beautifully well done cleanly softness to it. It's like a crispy softness. Yeah, jumbo shrimpiness to this beer. Um, and that it has this kind of classic West Coast kind of crispiness, cleanliness, well-madeness to it. But it just has this sultry softness right around the edge of it that still makes it a pleasure to drink. Even if those hops have kind of fallen off a little bit. These last two I've gotten from Heist have been really, really, really good. Really eye-opening beers for me for the brewery because, you know, I've had the, um, you know, a couple of the kind of new school kind of hazies. And all of these come from Oak Ridge. So thank you. Thank you very much, brother. And they're tasty and they're fun. But it's not so much that these beers are markedly better than those other ones or even better to, done kind of better um it's that they're older and they still taste good and they still show they still drink clean and crisp and well made that's fantastic man this is a really good beer i mean i'm not gonna sit here and tell you this is the best hazy or sorry best west coast ipa i've ever had let's cut to that chase is it one of the better west coast ipas i've had in recent memory no is it worthy of being in a conversation? Yes. 
But the fact that it's older, and it's still delicious. That's fun. That's good. That's a good brewery, is what that is. Valued availability, no idea. Oak Ridge or somebody down there in the old south. Where are they, Georgia? North Carolina. Sorry. They gotta be North Carolina. Right? Right? Charlotte. It's big, right there. I can read words. Um, and anybody else down that way, let me know what's what. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer. If you like just well-made beer, this is well-made beer. And that's the thing, like, I would pick this beer up with some time on it with no qualms, you know. And that's a testament to how well the brewery does on these styles. So take that for what it's worth. I know some people just don't dig on that. They want everything hyper fresh and they want it their way and they want it now. But if you just like good beer, well done beer. This one right here. There you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers. If you want to check me out doing the social media stuff, beer massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you enjoy a little heist right now. We'll see you next time. Cheers.